Hello everyone, Ziggler here, Bork, Chef, you can call me whatever you'd like. Today I'm going to show you a little trick that you can do in uh, in Season of Discovery. In Phase 4 now that we got it released, I'm playing very casually, I've been working and everything. And But yeah, I'm just going to show you a little trick that you can do with the macros. And the thing is that if we look up the like runes on Wowhead, Sorry, that was my weak aura. Um, if we look up here, then we're going to leggings. The thing is with the legs is that it has both the exorcist and the avenger shield. And the exorcist rune is like exorcist can now be cast on any target that has and has 100% increased critical strike chance against undead and demons. We don't fight that many undeads and demons. And sure, it could be nice to cast it like whenever you want to. But in my experience, it's like Avenger Shield is way better. Because if we look in game, let me just do like this. Let me turn that thing off. So let's look here in game. If we look on Exorcism uh, down there in the corner, it says causes 160 to 180 holy damage to an undead or demon target well sure if you have the rune it's it, it's still it's still gonna be the same damage it has 15 seconds cooldown and that's only hitting one target but the thing is like sure it has 15 seconds cooldown so if even if you take it times two avenger shield is almost the, like on par with it but it hits more so let's say that you are hitting with the highest one on the exorcism then you have a 180 times two. What's that? 360. Yeah, that's 360 damage. Mm -hmm. So sure, that's very nice to have on on single target, obviously. But with the Avenger Shield, you're also getting day like you're also dazing them for 10 seconds, and you can do that on three targets. And if you're if you're as long as you're fighting more than one mob avenger shield is going to be better because it hits every target that up to three targets for between 224 to 264 holy damage well that's my current damage so i mean if we, even if we go for the lowest one 221 at the current level at 33 it's 442 damage compared to the 360 so yeah it just feels like avenger shield is way better but then you're wondering okay but like if we do like this and i pull it over here like it says you must have a shield equipped like sure like well but i'm playing retribution paladin absolutely but as long as you're having a shield it doesn't really matter what shield you have but as long as you have a shield in your bag you're gonna be able to do this trick. So if we go into macros, and let's see here, is it this one? Yeah. So on my normal attack macro, that is Judgment and Crusader Strike, which I have on scroll up, it's a, it's a start attack, and then you have cast Judgment. So whenever it, I have a Judgment of cooldown, it's gonna prioritize that one, and then after that, it's gonna cast Crusade Strike. And as you can see, equip our, uh, well, the this name here, which is this sword. So, and basically, the other target, the other macro is Avenger Shield. So, you have the hashtag tooltip if you want to. It says, cast Avenger's Shield. And then it says, equip uh, Excavator Brand and... Uh, slash equip red beard chest uh, crest so if i press it it's gonna change to the weapons that i have in my bag and as you can see it's lighting up so now i can actually cast it on this one for example and then if i want to switch again back then i just start my macro and it's switching to my two-hander and then you can see the cooldown and then I can just, between mobs, like, 
I don't have it up yet, so I'm just continuing just as normal. And just slaying. And it's gonna be it's gonna be off cooldown now. So that's just a simple way to do it. But let's do it like this. Um download weak auras. And then if you're going to pre-made auras, and then if you're going to icons, I usually take the biggest one. And then we go into abilities. And here we go, Avengers Shield. And then you go into basic show on ready. And just move it wherever you want it. You can increase it in size and everything if you want to. I'm just gonna put it next to this one, which is a, well, just a reminder uh, that I don't have any buff up. So that's why it's jumping like this. So for example, this one, like, and I don't, it, whenever this one is lining up, I, I most likely will do like, uh, let's see here. Show this one and make it even bigger just so I don't miss it. Just for fun, because like I want to have this on cooldown every single time. So now it's on cooldown. So like, let's say I'm fighting this mob over here, like do 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 do, and it's about to go off cooldown. I spam my macro, and then I switch back. It's it's just super easy. And. Yeah, it's just a convenient little macro that you can do. Um, I find it very nice to have. And if you're doing dungeons, it's also nice because like mostly you're going to be on trash anyway. And sure, it costs a hefty amount of mana, but like mana is not really a problem anymore at all. And like now, for example, it's off cooldown, pressing it, using it, and then I'm scrolling back again using the judgment macro. That is my single target macro. That's, that is re-equipping. Let me see here. Come on. That one. So it's like whenever it's off cooldown, it's gonna ca uh, it's spamming this one. So it's casting Avenger Shield. Then it's equipping the the weapon and the shield. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, well, I'm not sure, but like, I'm I'm not particularly sure if uh, my weapon is gonna affect the damage on my Avenger shield. So, so that one is two hundred and twenty-four currently, and if I switch it, it's uh, two hundred and twenty-one. So, let's see here. Let's. If I switch it to this one, wait, okay, um, that, okay, it doesn't matter on that one, unless you have like holy damage on it, but now it's like, yeah, it's just super simple to play and to grind an AOE as a paladin and retribution and Retribution Paladins in Season of Discovery so far, the little bit that I played is very fast to level because you, they've changed the Vindicator that you're getting 15% more um, attack power. So let's just try it and see how much I get if I get any. It's not even casting on it. Well, like when you get to Brock, it's like it's noticeable in my experience. But yeah, that's just a, a small and pretty easy little macro that you can do. And uh, yeah, if you felt like this is helping you, consider to subscribing and like this page. Well, and this video if you felt like it's, it's helping. But uh, yeah, click on this video. You're gonna see a recommended video from me that YouTube thinks that you would might like. And uh, yeah, click on it and I'll greet you over there with a bork bork and I'll see you over there.